hello lovely people so it's Suze from Crowfire Soul Crafting so I thought I'd just come on um because my arm's hurting so much I've been doing other things instead of sewing or I've done little bits of sewing on my pieces um so I'm resting my arm but now I have 101 works in progress how many whips is too many whips is what I want to know so I <laughs> I've been jelly printing as you know it, you might have seen in the videos below um I have I've got my other camera set up not my downward camera so I've got to do it this way so you get to see my my mug as well so um and i started this one um which was my lady um and i i've just got stuck with that one but that is a lot of sewing so i sort of thingied with that one then this one was my one where i got my embellishing machine going because i thought oh well i can play on my embellishing machine so that would be fun and i can just put fabrics on and and then start so i've done a little bit of stitching on that but not a lot then um i oh i've dropped pins everywhere so i'll probably get stabbed uh, on my feet later um so then the other thing with all the um the jelly printing um i chopped up a load because i loved my contemplation cloth i did my meditation contemplation cloth i did a while back um so i thought i would do another one so i chopped up a lot of the fabric and then put it on the same fabric as i did my other one and at the minute i'm just um doing my circles so i've drawn them on and then i'm just stitching so it's basically the same as my other contemplation cloth really um the difference is the um jelly printing fabric so i went from the jelly printing to like oh coloring fabric oh what fun um and i'm going on a dyeing course in a couple of weeks oh no i did another one which i may have shown you which is another one that is another what oh upside down another work in progress so this one's on felt but again it's the jelly printed um chopped up and i'm gonna just do metallics with that one metallic threads and then i was like oh what can i play with on the jelly plate um and i thought well shall i have a go at watercolor and how would that work because that'd be nice and patchy which was the look i sort of wanted to go for so I started playing with that and then I got out the alcohol inks again. So then I ended up with this piece. I don't know which way round he is. Um, but he's extremely bright and colourful and I like it. Um, and I'm thinking of just stitching round all the bits. Um, probably maybe put him on some stabiliser to make him a bit um more stable this one was watercolors um and i've drawn circles all over it I, i'm very much in a circle mood for some reason but i really i loved again i use very similar colors not as bright and i don't think i use I didn't use alcohol inks on this one I don't think so I've started stitching my circles so I've got so many works in progress here I'm like I mean okay it means I can just pick them up when and where like I want to do a little bit um I mean th this isn't half of it because over there I've got all the jelly printed pieces um, and then I got waylaid again because I had these fabrics and I just thought I want to have a little go at doing sort of like a patchwork quilty thing. 
I don't know whether it's going to be a quilt or whether I will do a quilt, but maybe. I quite fancy it, to be fair. So I cut out some squares and then I slow stitched on. Um, well, I haven't with this one yet, but I slow stitched on like all around them um, and wanted to put it together. So I've ended up with this sort of bag not finished I mean you can see it's all but um so I've put it together and it's a little it's a little bag which is genius for me because I don't really know how to use my sewing machine so I've got slow stitching all over the pieces um but um I've used the sewing machine to pull it together so um, I think I'm going to have just a press stud there. Uh, I just, I'm going to sew on a press stud. Um, and yeah, so that it's just a little bag to keep some cards in. Um, but I really love it. I was quite, I was quite proud of myself, to be honest, because like I say, sewing machine is, is formidable to me. Um, and then my, um, my bobbin went oh my god it took me about half an hour to work out how to get a new bobbin in it well I could get the bobbin in I just couldn't get it to to work so um yeah so <laughs> oh dear but um yeah so later on I'm going to cut off all the stitching that is um tied it up um there might be I might need to do a few little more stitching on some of the pieces that I haven't got stitching on. I, I, I was a bit naughty because I should have finished what I was doing, but I got so excited about putting it together. Um, I think because I've got so many other whips that are just sitting here and it was sort of quite nice to finish something. Um, not that I really care about finishing stuff. I'm not like, I can have a few, quite a few pieces going at once, but I must admit, I've never had this many pieces going at once. Um, and also, when I get in that creative space that I want to use the jelly plate or, um, or you know, paint or something, then I, it's very hard. I mean, I've done some other things. I've done painting, a little painting, which is connected to my um, my spiritual work. And I've made like a dream catchery thing, again, that, that's connected to my spiritual work, which um, I have another channel, a sister channel for that, which is just called Crow Fire Talk. Um, and that's where I discuss my spiritual stuff. Um, so, but a lot of my art is spiritually based. It's based on stuff that I'm working with and doing. Um, but some some of these pieces are more like meditative, slow stitching type things, which to me is still connects me with my spiritual side and what I do. Um, but it's not as specific as, you know, um, making something for a specific reason. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing. Oh, and the other thing, obviously, is my slow stitch book. Um, which I haven't done any more to. Um, I got all involved in this and I've put it to one side, so my slow stitch book. So I need to um, do some more to that, look at what I'm doing with that. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been quite an interesting time. But I just wondered how many of you are like me? Do you have lots of whips? Um, sitting there or are you like I have to finish um, something like you start making something you have to finish it I get I can get bored very easily I can get bored with colours um, and things and I, I'll want to work with a different colour um, so I might be I might I'm a bit obsessed with green at the moment and then all of a sudden this purple blue and turquoise appeared um so that was quite interesting because it's been green 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 oh no i did do that one though which i'm i haven't done any more to and i don't even know i hate it i don't know why i hate it but i just i mean it's full of texture it's full of stitching there's 
so much going on with it um i don't really want to turn it into a book cover because it's a bit long um i mean unless i chopped it in half um i mean i could make a long skinny book but it just doesn't and i can't think of anything else to do with it i just personally i i love the colors i um i'm not so much into pink but um i wanted pink on it but yeah i just i don't know with it i'm not oh because please i'm not really keen excuse me <laughs> bless me um yeah so so that's that's me at the minute um with lots and lots of whips so how many whips is too many whips is what i'm asking let me know in the comment below um a thumbs up if you like the video um if you've subscribed already thank you for coming back thank you for watching my videos if you're new um like and subscribe and it'd be great to have you with me on my my sort of um strange eclectic art journey so um yeah the more the merrier so take care love and blessings to everyone bye